Hello, after all you want to be this is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening to another video from me. And I wanted to give my overall impressions of the Switch presentation. Um, I'm going to try to make this video kind of short, um, hopefully, because I want to do individual talks about the different games that were showed off from the presentation and from Treehouse. Um, firstly, I liked it. I think it was overall pretty good. It wasn't it wasn't the best thing ever. Like, but people really got to stop expecting that. Like, I was looking for information, and I wanted information, and Nintendo gave me plenty of information. Now, they didn't give me all of the information I wanted, Grand, mind you, but they, in general, gave me a lot of information. And it would seem that a lot of stuff that I predicted, well, not a lot of stuff, but I predicted several things that they said that they were doing during the switch event so i'm just waiting to see if all the other predictions that i made <laughs> have any chance of coming true um because there's still more information to be given and they've basically said hey we're going to be trickling out information throughout the next few weeks until the the coming weeks until the switch arrives and even then i'll probably still be giving out information but um I think that they that they got up on stage and they were being just like the goofy company that they always are. And <clears throat> I I don't mind that. Like I think when it comes to a western audience, people for some reason forget that Japan is a little bit more open-minded about how they show things off and how they talk about them than it is over here in the US where you get like this stoic very serious and mono monotone type of thing like that doesn't exactly happen over there and they were having fun with their presentation and i kind of appreciate that like like i'm sorry but if i if i had a had a job like that where i could put on like a lab coat and hold two toy guns and go act all wacky and crazy and i, and I got paid to do it i would go do it like there's not a <laughs> not a person in the world that would that could tell me that I, I couldn't do something like that and and be happy with that. Like you like, oh well, that was they were being kitty. Well, fuck it, whatever. Video games are a kitty. Video games are a kitty hobby. So whatever, I don't really give a damn. <laughs> I'd just be enjoying myself. Um, I do like that they did talk kind of in depth about the Joy Cons and. I'm still curious about this whole HD rumble thing. I was like, how the hell do you have high def rumble? I am so, so curious about that. Does that mean that the the way the gyros work is that they, they rumble in specific spots for particular things? Uh, uh, what does it do? Like, I've, I've got to experience it for myself. And since the Switch is coming to DC... Hopefully, if I don't get like a direct invitation from Nintendo, I'll be able to go that that Sunday because the Sunday is, I think, the open public event that they'll be having on the the twelfth of February. So I I'll, I'll hopefully I'll be able to get to that. But um, I really really want to see what that is, and the way the gyros work, it looks like it's far is far far more advanced than uh, Wii Motion Plus, which. Which is good because that means it's better than what Wii Motion Plus was, and and it to me I liked I liked playing with the Wii Remote and Unchecked for certain games because it just felt better for particular for like particular game types, and to have that and and more is awesome. And then it has the IR pointer on it, which is basically a condensed version of what the the Connect uh, IR reader scanner is. And it can be used in the same way, just on a smaller scale, like a slightly smaller scale. And that's another thing that's awesome because that opens up more game possibilities, especially if you if you have, you know, like like they say, you can connect eight Joy Cons to one Switch. So if you have four different four different right Joy Cons that are connected to your Switch, that is a way to set up for augmented reality gaming and that's another awesome idea that I, I kind of want to see happen so it's just like they've set the switch up with a multitude of different possibilities there is also the the possibility for vr with because of how 
well the joy cons work i don't know how they would be setting their vr up whether they would be setting it up as if you have a separate device that you wear or if it would be something else that you something else you put on and you slide the switch into it i don't know i don't know what nintendo's doing but there's a possibility for both i mean i'm still not one ready to jump on the vr bandwagon just yet but again they left the possibility open which is pretty good um I was also happy to learn that the Pro Controllers have gyro, which makes it so much better for me for like games like Splatoon, because I plan on getting a Pro Controller for that. I, I want to play that with the Pro Controller, because, I mean, granted, you could just play them with the uh, Joy-Cons on the Joy-Con grip, but I'd rather I'd rather play them with the, uh, the Pro Controller, because it just looks like, that looks like it feels more comfortable than the Joy-Con grip. Not that the Joy-Con grip looks uncomfortable, but the Pro Controller looks like it's more comfortable. And that's something I would definitely like to be able to play. And I would like, as long as Splatoon had the gyros, I would be happy. I mean, losing, losing the map and everything, eh, it, it sucks, but I can deal with it. But the gyro, I would be like, oh gosh, that would have been horrible. So <laughs> I'm glad they kept that. Um... But overall, overall, just like, and they had like different, the, the Super Mario Odyssey, that looks cool. Um, like, and I really want to play that. Um, they, it's just like, they gave us a lot of stuff. I, I kind of wish they would have went more in depth with all the stuff that they're going to be doing with the, um, with the network since they're going to be making it paid. Um, and I kind of wish that they would have talked more, I wish they would have talked about, uh, more about my nintendo and stuff like that because there's still information that they haven't really shared with us but again i know that that information's coming i just wish it was there because i know they've they've by now they have, have had to have finalized a lot of this stuff so i'm just sitting here thinking like damn it nintendo i, I like you you put out a bunch of information i absorbed a good portion of it and i liked what i saw i just i just really 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 want to know more could you guys just give give me a good a nice rundown of everything that this thing can do and they kind of did that with the joy cons but they still haven't fully explained everything that the switch switch as a whole is capable of which i'm i'm waiting for all that information but i i really am looking forward to what they're going to do with it and hopefully what third-party developers are going to be able to be doing with it. Especially my boy Suda51. Like, he came up on the stage. I was like, yes, we're getting a Suda game. Um, and I think people are saying that No More Heroes 3 is teased. That's possible if Ubisoft is backing it. But I think he only has the rights to use Travis Touchdown as a character. So he might not be doing a No More Heroes game. He might be putting Travis in another game. Either way, I'd be happy as all hell because I want to see the character back in action for for all intents and purposes. So I'd be great with that. I, I just want to see what what he's going to do and be like the fact that he's excited about it has me more excited because I like his games. So like if he's looking at it like, oh, I'm going to be able to do so much with this, I'm I'm going I I will go gung ho for it. I I'm gung ho for it. I'll, I'll definitely whatever he puts out. I know I know I'm getting it. <laughs> I don't even have the question. I know I'm getting it. I know it's going to be a good game. I know I'm going to enjoy it. So I, I'm just going to get it. And then there's the possibility to open up like the way you can play certain games like Skyrim since it's going to be on the Switch. The Joy-Cons open up how you can play it. And, and again, that's something I'm looking forward to and I'm happy with. And that kind of makes me still want that... Uh, I still want them to do Skyward Sword HD and, and give us the, the Zelda portion that they had to cut out because of time. Um, but I, I really, I really just like, I'm, I'm excited. There, there's a lot of good that can come of the Switch if it, if, if it catches on. Like with that, that still remains to be seen in the way that gamers are currently. Yeah, I, I worry a little bit about that. But whatever. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games. Peace out.